Previously on Transformers Prime. Few things of value come without a price. What is it that you wish in return? Only to be a Decepticon once again. Now, what will we be fishing for today, my liege? Starscream's true motives. Ah, the high and mighty Skyquake. You shall bow to my command. Symbiosis. I can feel it! Awkward. I will allow you to return to our ranks. <laughs> Thank the old Spark! You know, I might not be the first human on Cybertron, but I can still be the first human exchange student. Why didn't you tell us about the Omega Keys before? You probably didn't notice, but things have been kind of intense around here lately. So... You guys could really be going home soon, huh? Don't worry, Raph. You'll come visit. Once we get our place set up, he can bunk with us, right, Bulk? Uh, Miko? You are taking me with you, right? Aren't we getting ahead of ourselves here? Not only do we lack any actual method of reaching Cybertron, but Starscream now controls the sole means of our planet's restoration. As far as we know. You think Starscream's rejoined the cons? He might have used the Omega Keys to buy back Megatron's favor. <laughs> Without first trying to sell them to the highest bidder? I, I wouldn't surprise me if he had the nerve to contact us and... Okay, that's weird. Is it Starscream? No. It is Dreadwing. And he wants to meet... Hands where we can see him. I am not here to fight, but to give you this. The Forge of Solus Prime. Could be rigged to blow. Dreadwang, what do you ask in return? Only that you use it wisely. And the Omega Keys? In Megatron's possession, under heaviest guard. Scream did make a deal with the cons. Why? A shadow of disgrace has been cast upon the Decepticons. It is a cause I no longer wish to be part of. Then I appeal to you again. Join us and help end this conflict once and for all. Betraying my kind is not the same as accepting yours. It's no Star Saber, but I bet it can shatter Megatron's blade and put some dents into that ugly mug of his. It's not that kind of hammer. With the Decepticons in possession of all four Omega Keys, a more appropriate use of the Forge would be to use it to replicate our own. Even with such power, their reconstruction would require a level of expertise I do not possess. I guess we better hope Megatron doesn't destroy the Keys to prevent anyone from ever going home. Megatron may be evil. But I believe he will use the keys for their intended purpose. Then I say we let him keep him and do the work for us. Well, I mean, what difference does it make who restores Cybertron? If Megatron revives Cybertron, he will no doubt use it to his political advantage. 
You, you, you lost me. In all likelihood, the leader of the Decepticons will portray himself as our planet's savior and brand all Autobots as war criminals. The grand deception continues. Megatron's so-called achievement could influence Cybertron for eons to come, poisoning the sparks and minds of its returning citizens. Hardly the ideal way to begin a new age. But there is hope. For while Megatron may have the keys, he has yet to discover the existence of the Omega Lock itself. Omega Lock? Wait, now you lost me. That which the four relics were designed to activate. We must locate the device before Megatron does, and secure it until we can recover the keys. There are no more Iacon entries to decode. This lock could be anywhere on Earth. Actually, it is on Cybertron. What? How do you know? Alpha Trion revealed its location to me during the message conveyed by the Star Saber. And you didn't think to tell us? Alpha Trion did not wish it so. With the Forge of Solus Prime, we now possess the means of reaching Cybertron. I must work quickly as our tactical advantage over Megatron will not last long. Dreadwe, I have been searching for you. I am at your service, Lord Megatron. I recognize that Starscream's return to our ranks may be difficult for you, given the loss of your twin under his command. But your cooperation is essential. We Decepticons will be best equipped to rule a restored Cybertron only if we are united. Understood. And if it pleases you, Master, I intend to reach out to our comrade personally. Rise and shine. Your TCOG transplant was a success. Yes, I am just that good. <sighs> Finally. I can't wait to take flight and soar above the clouds. Starscream, I regret to inform you that you will not live to spread your wings ever again. of reparation I can offer to alleviate your anguish. Your spark will suffice, Dreadwing! Stand down! This desecrator must pay for his actions! You call this loyalty, Master? I said stand down! That is an order. One which I cannot follow. <laughs> I'm okay! <laughs> Lord Megatron, you have my eternal thanks. Do not ever make me regret which one of you I spared. Is it my imagination, or has Optimus been acting differently since that message from Alpha Trion? Yeah, he has been keeping things from us. Even Ratchet's out of the loop. Well, give me one good reason Optimus couldn't trust his own teammates. Why he couldn't have told us about the Omega Lock. Because if he had, Megatron would have pulled it out of my head with his patch. Like it matters. The cons are holding all the keys anyway. Tick-tock, knockout, tick-tock! Megatron's expecting results. And given what we just witnessed, I would say that we cannot afford to disappoint our master. We? Unless nagging counts, I haven't seen you lift a finger. 
I am the one who brought him the keys. Do I really need to prove myself further by deciphering how they operate, too? Well, perhaps if my research hadn't been sidelined by someone's cosmetic surgery, I might be further along right now. <sighs> oh, just give it here. <sighs> oh, gee, why didn't I think of that? <gasps> Do you think? Ready? Go! <laughs> and that is why Dreadwing is pushing up lug nuts. And we are not. Of course! Keys are useless without something to unlock. Target the space bridge for Cybertron. Yet another astonishing convergence of magic and science, courtesy of the ancients. And our leader? It's hard to believe. A few swings of that hammer and bam! Our ground bridge is now a space bridge. Our sensors are detecting a massive energon burst occurring outside Earth's atmosphere. A surge of that kind could only mean one thing, activation of another space bridge. Megatron has discovered that the Omega Lock is on Cybertron. It appears we have lost our advantage. But with Megatron unaware that we now possess the means of interstellar travel, the element of surprise remains in our favor. We must embark on this mission with every resource at our disposal. Assume command in my absence. <laughs> I would be honored, Master. And what's he forging now? Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost. displayed by the keys. The object we seek is located deep within the Sea of Rust. Uh, Optimus? Uh, no, Ratchet, it's Jack. I is something wrong? Because school's been out for almost an hour and no one showed to pick us up. That is because the entire team is rather indisposed at the moment. I suggest you obtain an alternate method of transport. What's he saying? The, the bots are busy. Then tell Ratchet to come get us. It's not like he has anything else to do. Just go home. I will be in touch later. H hello? He hung up. What crawled up his tailpipe and died? Did Ratchet tell you what's going on? No. They seem to be keeping us in the dark a lot lately. Smokescreen? 
But that's impossible. The Autobots do not possess the means to... once, and I shall do it again! I can help with the last part. The spark extractor. have seized the Omega Keys. Send reinforcements immediately! Actually, Lord Megatron, Soundwave has been briefing me on recent developments, and we may have a more effective solution. Our head start won't last long. This is where Alpha Tryon said we'd find it, right? These are the coordinates. Doesn't look like much. Ratchet, we have located the Omega Lock. <sighs> At last. According to Alpha Trion, the Omega Lock is a conduit to the very AllSpark itself. Optimus, an honor like this shouldn't belong to me.
Nanobots, I would suggest that you put a halt to your task and hand over those keys. And why would we do that? So that I may hand over the humans. And if we refuse... Then I will have no choice but to open the pods, exposing your pets to Cybertron's toxic atmosphere. And then, we can all watch them instantly perish, together. 